Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. And how are you all doing this morning? I'd like to thank everyone that showed up last night for the live stream uh, premiere of uh, our last video. Death is here. I've been working on that video for probably about a week now and uh, finally got it done last night, yesterday evening. And by the time I got it posted up and everything, I it was getting late and I didn't have really time to give much notice on it or anything. But uh, so it was a 40 minute notice. I just had to uh, keep I, I had to redo it so many times just to get it just the way I wanted it. Because that's how I am. I get this plan for the video. And uh, I can just see it. And I know what I want to do with it. And I had envisioned pretty much everything. Up till the tunnel part. What went on in the tunnel was just complete fair game of whatever the spirits wanted. I had a little control over it whenever we were filming outside of the, the tunnel. But uh, with the way things were going in that tunnel, it was hard to tell what was going to happen or where things were headed. Yeah, I had envisioned uh, things after... We got out there and started walking around. I could just see, like, I knew I wanted to get a lot of footage of that water coming down. I thought that was just so beautiful off of the the icicles and everything. And, uh, and I thought it was something that a lot of people might not have the opportunity to see, you know. People that, uh, well, as it was last night, there were... Um, Quite a few of the followers uh, from uh, Australia, and some of them have never seen icicles and stuff. And uh, one of them did ask what that was, and I, I never really thought much about it till they asked that, and I was like, "Wow, yeah, that's cool." But I, yeah, I wanted to do kind of an artistic beginning to the video. I thought it would be so pretty, and I want to kind of build it up and build up the tension a little bit with the music to to where we get to the cave, because by that point, I'd start seeing some of the footage of inside the cave. We had no idea that shadow person figure was there. You couldn't see it. And we had no idea there was that orb in there that flew between us. That glowing blue and black orb. That was wild. And most of the time we couldn't hear what the uh, Necrophonics app was saying. So we didn't really know what was uh, going on there. So... For the most part, we just went through and talked and decided to find out what we were getting. And boy, I was so amazed at what we did get. And I had said before, I know, that I was going to, I was just leaving that up just for the premiere. And that was my intentions. But then uh, some people in the premiere were saying that they wanted to go back and uh, listen to it over again. So I thought, yeah, why not? You know, I, w I was happy that they were. So sure, I'll leave it up longer. So I'm going to leave the video up longer until I actually start doing something else with it. And just wait till you see the next part. 
I mean, it's not, but to be honest, I haven't listened to the, to the necrophonics results we got from the next place. But these two sites tie in together in a very twisted way. This one and the next one in the coming video. I'll, I'll tell you that much. So let's see what card you all have today. Oh, you have the Ace of Swords. Now for this card, the element is the air and the astrological associations, therefore, are the air signs, uh, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's the number one in numerology. And the tree of life position is Kether, the sphere of divine light. Now the key meanings of this card are success, decisions, and beginnings. Could be a message coming your way, who knows. But this card is great for practically every aspect of your life. It predicts new beginnings, decisions, and clear thinking, and usually relates to work and love. It heralds action, drama, and sometimes confrontation. However the Ace of Swords manifests in your life, it'll bring an immediate change to your circumstances and for the better. It shows that uh, mental agility and assertiveness will bring success. In relationships, it reveals triumph over past obstacles. You get what you've been wanting. And I always have associated with the news of it. You get news of this coming. And, and you'll notice on this card, a bon droit. And it's a French phrase that means really kind of something like, uh, with good, there is right. Uh, this card reflects determination, initiative, and strength, all qualities that lead to success and lasting achievement. So let's see if we can pick up a little bit more on this card. Uh, the fairy tale deck. It's a bright sunny day out and it just looked like today would be the perfect time for this deck. I don't know. It just struck me. Oops. Come on. There we go. Wanting to stick together just a tad bit. Oh. You have house, the, K, uh, the king of hearts. This refers to home, domesticity, safety, sanctuary. Um, rather than using any specific story, um, it's, it's kind of like an archetype here. Um, because in nearly every uh, story, fairy tale, there is a, a heroine or a hero that either begin their story from a home or a sought sanctuary in a place like that. Um, Hansel and Gretel, Snow White. So it's the home. And I think what this is saying now then, by tying it together, is that this ace then is referring to events most likely around the house, the family, um, that aspect of your life. It's kind of maybe helping to focus in there a little bit. So it looks like, uh, looks very positive, very positive family things, house, house, home life things going on here. Good news coming. If it ain't here already, good news is on the way. I love this, just being able to give out a good uh, positive reading. 
and it's perfect reading for a, a day that looks pretty perfect outside, except it's going to be cold. High is 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, still pretty cold, but uh, it's 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 above freezing at this point, you know. So anything above freezing is kind of a a plus in my book. Well, that's all I have for you all today. Um, so, if it's nice where you're at, try getting out there and enjoying it. I doubt if I will be able to today. I would like to, but... Uh, yeah, since I can't, get out there and have a good day for me. Make it a double. Oh, and one more thing before I go. If you do watch that video again... And want to listen, I keep on t saying this over and over again. You know, if uh, if you want to hear the EVPs that come through on that, turn off your screen and try to listen for, for yourself. Don't depend on my interpretation. Because that's just what I'm hearing. What I hear and what you hear might be two different things. So, that's just suggestions for uh, people that maybe have a hard time picking it out so anyway you all have a blessed Sunday peace believe because the spirits are out there and until tomorrow take care y'all bye bye